Hi guys, we are in Maor Applebaum Mastering Studio in Los Angeles. And uh, Maor, can you please tell us how you use MD4 when mastering? Uh, the MD4 uh, algorithm is a very diverse algorithm because it has a lot of options in it, but it's still very simple to operate. Um, the screens, you know, they're very much uh, is self-explanatory. Uh, you just set up the configuration and the reference level, what type of five band you want. Uh, look ahead, you can, you know, set it how much you feel is needed um, to make the calculations right. And uh, just then you go to the actual five band screen and uh, lower the level here. Right now it's something we set prior. Uh, we're compressing now the low end and setting it. This is bypassed, unbypassed. You'll notice there's more high end now because we let that in and uh, we can add even a bit more. So we have all the bands here, the low threshold, the low mids, mids, high mid and highs. Uh, the low mid, mid and highs, that's basically uh, a, lot of, a lot of the music lies there. So every small setting here will create a diff or a hill on how you can hear, how you perceive the music. Okay, now I'm trying to do really subtle changes because it feels that the mix is set right. Now let's go, let's go fuller. Let's play it again, see? Now setting the low mids. That's un unprocessed. Processed. I'll load this a bit. Unprocessed. Processed. As you notice, I'm doing really small, subtle changes. And the reason for that is I don't want to harm the mix because it sounds good to begin with. Let's go to a different place. Okay, processed, unprocessed. Good thing about uh, a lot of bands in a multi band is that you can go s much more subtle and the, the changes could be in, in, in between the bands. Instead of just like a mid band, you have low mids, mids and highs. You can make really small adjustments and that way it will feel less altered if you, if you do it right. So this is without the comp. This is with. Without. With. If we want, we can also use the limiter here and uh, push some level if we want. We'll go down.
crossover frequencies, you can change where you want it to be located, where the bands split up. Also, we have an EQ here. Let's go to the high. Then let's choose frequency. Okay, before, after. Here you can set how much soft clip you want. So basically, the, it's, it's a simple tool to operate in terms of user interface, but it could do a lot. So every small movement, incre increase or decrease, will be noticeable. And um, you can really go deep with it, either on the EQ, or on the actual bands. So um, when you're working with it, it will be a good idea to reset it and then uh, move slow with it. Because if the mix is really good, then you don't want to really do a big change to harm it. If the mix is problematic, then this tool can really help you dig in and fig figure out which frequencies you, you want to compress more or, or less. So that covers up the MD4.